David, we all expected a quite tough test today. Would it be a fair assessment to say that you got what you wanted from? Oh, absolutely. Perfect game for us. Uh, Paul are a really good side. You've got some players with knowledge and nous and understanding. Um, and we are in a rebuilding process, certainly um, certainly in a in the start of much work to do, and that's obvious. And it was a perfect game for us today. We uh, we learnt a lot, learnt a huge amount. Um, the result is what the result is. We, we weren't worried about the previously. We were not going to worry about today. Um, but we need to make sure that we understand as our group what it takes to win some football matches, and and, and a really good lesson today for us. Um, were you? quite sat uh, satisfied at all with the uh, the attacking play today I mean we had some good chances I think Berwich had one really good chance uh, a couple of chances at the end as well if those goals go if those goals go in obviously that changes the game and is that something clinically that yeah. we need to improve on uh, we, we it's obvious we need to improve on everything there's no doubt about that and, and I'm to be honest I'm not that interested I didn't think we attacked particularly well I didn't think if we crossed we, we had any threat to get on the end of it I, I think we have a lot of work to do and, and that's not a problem it's not a criticism it is where we are as a group and where we are in pre-season um, we have to recruit well we need to make sure that we are uh, capable physically to compete and and, and, and we learned many lessons again today so there was lots of positive lots of positives as well the crowd were, were great for us and and, and again th that kind of What's the analogy? I can't quite think of it top of my head, but but that bitterness of defeat and that we need to make sure that we turn into a learning curve again. It's it's something for us to look back on, to really learn from, and then and we'll go from there. And I think it's uh, it's it's a perfect game for us today to learn those lessons. Uh, no, in especially in the first half as well. Uh, obviously, Cla uh, Claudio um, was playing as a right wing back. Is that is that free at the back? Is something that you're looking to implement for next season? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. We, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it is something we've played before, certainly, but we, we're certainly not wedded to it. Uh, and we will be, it'll be flexible and whatever we need to do. We will play all of those formations, whatever it needs to be. And I'm not a huge formation fan. I think it's much uh, much more about the, the performance and the individuals and, and making whatever formation work. We, we need to be together and collective and, and we'll make that. That's where the joy is rather than the formation. But we need to make sure that we get that right going forwards and, and, and there's an opportunity to get players on the pitch that need those minutes. So uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Obviously very warm conditions today but heading into Tuesday at Froome obviously the one of probably one of the hottest days as well. Is that always good for fitness though, playing in these, playing these quite tough conditions? <laughs> It's another good question. I'm not sure. To be honest, sometimes it can drain you, and, and you don't get what you need out of it, out of it. Sometimes it can inspire you, and, and you feel good and sharp and quick. We'll have to wait and see. I honestly don't know, but I know that we'll train and work hard uh, before we play Froome. It's an opportunity to get together, so uh, we, we'll go to Froome with tiredness in our legs. Absolutely will, and, and they'll be the same. And, and I know. Froome personally, I know how big a challenge that's going to be as, as well on Tuesday, so uh, we are ready to work, but we're also ready to learn a lot of lessons.